we're out here gripping, and I, what I want to do, I want to get a side grip like an Oso Nagari, you know, Harai Goshi off the side, more of an Oso Nagari, Oso Nagaki. And, you know, it's, it's the point where I can't get my hand on it, okay? He's batting away or whatever. But if I can get this, I can get the anchor here on the low sleeve. Sometimes that's, that's the anchor, and that's what I've got, and I'll use it to throw him, okay? So we're fighting here, and, and we're working. I've got this. Well, he's not stupid. He's going to withdraw that, and maybe he would pull it away as he does. That's going to let me have an alley to throw him, okay? So it's using his own body movement against himself to catch him. So we're out here gripping and fighting, away, and all I can get is this. And I get this now. Once I do, keep it low. Don't let it flop, float up here. I want to keep it low as I can because eventually I'm going to tuck it into his body. Okay? All right. So we're actually fighting here. I'm keeping it low. See how? And that by keeping it low, it extends his arm and makes it weaker. Okay? So if I let him bend his elbow too much, he may. There you go. He may pop it free. Don't want that to happen. So if I keep it low, there we go. And now, as he's backing away, and he's thinking, and you know, I'm in pursuit now. At this point, my right hand, I'm going to snatch around the back here, and I'm going to get just a good standard back grip here, like this. See that? Okay. Here, they're like a wrapping a belt around. Them. We all can use that analogy, like that. Now, when I do this, as soon as I get this hand here, that tells me my left foot better step. I step straight across the body, and as I step straight across the body. Squish, squish in. I want to squish my arms in. I want to jam his wrist into his gut, and it it breaks his balance. You might think, well, don't you want to pull this way? You no, know, if I do that, I'm letting him off the hook. Okay, I don't want to. Do that. I, want to I want to close him up. So here we are, like this. And okay, as he steps back, I latch on here. I step across, see how it, and I come in, hit him with the old soda straight in, crunch him in. That's what he's gonna do on you. So, what direction we wanna be here, so, okay. Yeah, he's be good to lefty right. Lefty, yeah. all right. Mike, you might wanna come around here and get a better angle. On this side here. Right. No, you're fine, you're a lefty, it's, that's fine. See that grip, okay? Now, he, he, he wants to keep it extended, step across, there you go. Now, the trick is, it's not a trick, the key is Derek is keeping this arm extended down here. And eventually he wants to have it trap in there, into the body. You know, you will want to do that as well. But see how it ties him up? If Derek, again, if Derek is held on to that, Derek can pull that back and over back and pull it out of the way and escape. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so we want to kind of basically tie him up with his own arm. As we step across, we finish cross body of the guard, which is a very strong and sort of guard because he's very weak lateral. I'll stop yapping and let him do it one more time with a practice. So he catches it there and cross. I will say this one more thing. When you start, exactly what he did, we may be starting unsquared up with him and when I, when I get this, odds are I'm going to be moving around the side a little bit to catch this. That's what exactly what he did. That's what you should be doing. Okay? If I stay here and do this, and he's being in, you know, stepping out, or he may attack me or do something. So when I get here, come on the side. Right? Yeah. So that's what you want to do with that side step. That side step. One more time, I'm sorry. Come across, catches, and go across the body. 